All right, good morning, good afternoon. So, <clears throat> we just got a surprise update. Um, I did get my rewards from the Guild Rune event, which I'm happy about, because it is coming back again, which is a bit weird to me. But anyways, ladies and gentlemen, we have ourselves an update, and we actually have the St. Patrick's Day event coming up next. So, if we go over to our update journal tab, you can see right here, St. Patrick's Day event is coming soon. Um, <clears throat> hero adjustment. So this has all been done. This is already taken care of. This is the Death Mage event. But if we go down just a little bit, now you can see that they're actually buffing Windmaster. So they're adjusting to emphasize her hero's damage and control capability. So awakening, awakening her increases the control effect of Gale Force, which is the ultimate. Um, concussion, which I think is her second skill. Hailstorm, that's the third skill, I think. And it made the attribute bonus type as con of concussion and hailstorm for physical attack damage to magic power because she has a lot of magic power and if we go over here to the event tab the event is going to be coming <clears throat> on the 10th so oh wait now that's the purchase event where is da, 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 da. here it is yeah it's coming on the 10th so as you can see right here we're going to be able to get more awakening materials for Windmaster, which I have a little bit lying about. And we also have the Guild, Guild, uh, Guild Rune event. And I gained, got 2,000 gems and then 10 of each of these. for Because it didn't give me any rewards from the last event. So I talked with Yuko and they sorted that for me. So thank you for that. Anyways. Let's go over to Marksman because I'm pretty sure she falls under the tab. I already had my Windmaster awakened to level 5. Um, now! <clears throat> So, it says apparently this damage was increased. Increase, it does knockback effect. This is a second skill. Concussion now. Oh! Yeah, that's different. It used to increase the skill damage greatly, and now it's actually... It casts the skill immediately upon battle. So we're going to test that out. This was increased for more damage. Of course, she has crazy dodge rate. <clears throat> she hasn't... Her legendary is so underwhelming. I don't see the value in that. But we should be able to get her skin, which is actually going to be very nice because it makes it so she can deal extra damage, refresh the mark, and she has additional uh, dodge rate. So we're probably going to go see what we have on her. We have Aquarius on her right now. I don't think I have extra. <clears throat> yeah, unfortunately, I don't have anything good. I wanted to give her like Scorpio, because I think Scorpio would be great, because she does have great crowd control capabilities. So, she is only... Going to five. Yeah, let's go over here very fast. We're going to actually go test her out, see how it feels. Uh, definitely going to be noticeable when we get a little higher, like 10 plus. She does have an artifact and the skin, so she might be added to one of my teams. We will see. It's fine. I don't care how much we spend in gold. I can always gain my gold back. I've been trying to catch up. I'm about to be 117. Like, I'm leveling up fast. So, uh, I like to refresh maybe 12 times a day sometimes. Good. So long as I don't dip under uh, 100 mil, I'm fine. But it's going to get exceedingly more expensive to get everyone to level. Okay, that should be plenty for her. Because there's a good chance we're going to actually level her up in the weekend. So let's get rid of this. And that was annoying. Now it's interesting that this skill is dealing damage right off the bat. Because that could be good. Like, I mean, let's say you have a uh, team that's been hounding you. You throw a weak team at to weaken them. See if you can knock someone out. Uh, <clears throat> or your best team loses. Or like your Not second really. best team loses. You can summon her out so she can stun at least the tank. And it, if you have someone like Depth's Voice, then Depth's Voice is going to knock arrow. back the tank. Because usually people run one tank, and then she can hit the middle line for at least one of them. Naturally. Okay. Now we have a, like, 114. That should be fine. 
how close are we actually to an artifact? Oh, not even close, so let's go over here. I have been a little... I did spend all this because I wanted to get more Queen, uh, Queen of Seas artifacts. I didn't get that lucky, unfortunately. I'm going to take you out, and we're going to add Windmaster's artifact. There it is. Okay, so... We made to the Crusades for the day. We're going to go over here to <coughs> this, and we're going to actually start walking on home. We've been walking on the Royal Detective, because he's part of one of my teams right now. Because there's a gentleman that has bullied me quite a few times. So, let's actually do this, see if we can get her to, hopefully, max level before the event. Oh, no. I'm pretty bad about grinding in here sometimes. But you know, should be good. Uh, if we can find anything with good rewards in it, we will show the Boy Detective team. Because um, Boy Detective actually grants your entire team magic life stealing. It's only a percentage, but it's like 35% at my level right now. And if I can get him to. Awaken level 5, it's going to be a little bit more. I don't know if it's like plus 10, or I don't know what it would be. We'll find out eventually. But there was a gentleman that bullied me with him, as I was saying, in Grand Arena, because I wasn't expecting... His Queen of Sea was so close to dying so many times that she wouldn't die because of her detective. Plus, he actually reduces the dodge rate of in an area, so it makes it like the... Your skills will hit, so he's very good in that regard. And he can actually do surprisingly a good amount of damage. Come on, give us a good... You know what, we'll take this. He actually has <coughs> a Windmaster. So let's swap you out. We'll put in Windmaster ourselves. Not this is silly. the team I've been running. You have Stargazer to prevent physical attackers from pushing right off the bat. Warrior Detector being our support, same with uh, Angel Lamp Genie and Queen of Sea being the mass murdering monster she is. So, let's get into this. Okay, as you can see right here, they're both shooting off their arrows. Or not. Let me get it I'm gonna try to have everyone invisible right here. And let's pop the ultimate. Okay, it's not too crazy to damage yet. I'm gonna stun everyone. Interesting. So let's see the damage numbers. Of course, I'm gonna be a queen of sleeping at number one. 300,000, huh? Okay, let's go right back into it. I feel like she definitely has potential though, because Qu Queen of Seas, why she's so strong is because she does continuous damage constantly by her orbs ob orbiting around her. Oh, and there's the Depths voice I was talking about. And Windmaster surprisingly does quite a bit of damage because she hits everyone with her ult. And now that she has the ability to stun people right off the battle, it's gonna help, but we're gonna have to find some ways a mermaid to them. See how that plays to that. I'm pretty sure Totem's in here, right? Yeah, they, we, they have their own Totems. <sighs> Kinda of weird how far back she is because she popped it off as soon as the battle starts. Honestly, we could add it to this team, which I think I might do. I don't remember who I have in this team. I think it's Ironhoof being in there, so we could switch Ironhoof out. Um, they don't really need that much help.
Yeah, this is a lot stronger of a team, so this should be interesting. I assume they have them when we tell them. Alright, no. Ah, uh, we lost. <clears throat> I'll Stargazer, but eventually we're gonna get Stargazer Ohio and hopefully get a spin. Yeah, I mean, why Detective actually outclassed though? And he doesn't even have an artifact. Interesting. And I gave him Libra, so he doesn't actually have anything that buffs his damage, it just keeps him alive. I wish I could see what totem they had, so we know who we'd be fighting. Then again, we do have Stargazer with Pisces, so she gains extra health, which we might switch out, because now we have, um, Void Detective being utilized. Oh, he doesn't even have a lot of Oh, the totem. It doesn't seem like she's doing a lot of damage with the ult, because that's a particular amount of weight and didn't die. But, once we get her to... Awaken level 10 and get our skin, it should be a difference. I think she has potential. We could actually try her in Grand Arena. Alright, video cut out right there, but. <clears throat> Well, I was going to use it against Grand Arena, but I didn't realize the time. I need to get ready for, to go to sleep, because I'm going to have to be up by 5 tomorrow, so. This will just be a small video. Um, just overlooking the event. We're going to have an event, of course. I will probably be working on Windmaster it's down the road, now. the Ohio. We should be also upgrading her artifact tile. I don't know how... I, yeah, I'm going to have to collect her <coughs> soul stones. And now all of our attacks are magic, so that is interesting. Yeah, she has a lot of magic crit, actually. Crazy high dodge. Lifesteal rating. Interesting. Anyways, that should be it for today. Everyone have a wonderful day, and uh, yeah.